As an American in England, I have found Lancashire to be a magical, imaginative place, and this does not stop short of the food. I mean, you guys have the craziest stuff here. Like, check out some of this. You have faggots. You have plowmans. And this is one of my favorites. It's Toad in the Hole. When I first came here, I thought this was actually made from frog's legs. And another really good one is black pudding, which is actually made from blood. Simply mouth-watering. I went to find out more about it at the award-winning Real Lancashire Black Pudding Company. I'm now going to try a piece of Real Lancashire Black Pudding. Um, I'm going to try not to think about the blood. Here I go. It's actually really nice. It's um it's not at all what I thought it would taste like. Lancashire is a county of carnivores and people here will seriously tuck into any edible parts of an animal. Some popular dishes here are reminiscent of tasks on I'm a celebrity get me out of here including giblets, which is a nice name for a fowl's heart, gizzard, liver, anus, and other organs, and tripe, which is made from the lining of various farm animals' stomachs. As I've been finding out more and more about Lancashire foods, I keep hearing tripe mentioned as a popular one. What's your opinion of it? Well, I don't like tripe, but my dad loved it. If you came home from town on a Saturday afternoon with a little white carrier bag, and there was tripe in it, he was his best friend, and he absolutely loved it. It was like he'd got the best box of chocolates ever. I don't like tripe, but I like this delicacy. Pork scratchings. Would you like to try one? Pork scratchings? No, thank you. But back on to tripe. It sounds like people in the olden days really used to love it. But I wonder what people think about it today. I want to find out. What do you think? It's kind of bland, isn't it? And chewy. <laughs> <coughs> it's horrible. Absolutely the most disgusting It didn't really taste of much. I mean, it tasted quite. I suppose in the way you could say it, 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 it was quite fishy. Um, it did, it's not as disgusting as it looks. I think the salt and the vinegar make it look quite. Um, look, 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 make it look like quite a good dish. So yeah, that's cool. And there you have it, English food. It's not all scary. I have really come to adore the fish and chips, parched peas, butter pies, and the endless variety of crisps. I am actually so used to English food that it's now American food that makes me wary. However, I'm still looking for the English equivalent of a slice of New York pizza. You just can't beat it. <laughs>